Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can sync Google Calendar with your iPhone built-in calendar app on the iPhone 12 series. So first, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. Next, we're going to tap on settings. And in the settings screen, we're going to go down and tap on calendar. So in calendar, you want to tap on accounts. And in here, you can see I have already added in Gmail. So if you haven't got Gmail added, then tap on add account and then choose Google. And tap on continued. This will take you to the Google account sign in. So in here, you put in your Google account. So you can uh, manually uh, put it in. So for example, this one right here. So I'm just gonna manually put in the account name. So for example, you can put in ID Jungles and tap on next. And after that, put in the account password and sign to your um, Gmail account or your Google account. Now, because I have already added, so I will not add in another account. Instead, I will use this Gmail account instead I that I have. Now you tap on that and you want to make sure that calendars is switched on for syncing. So once you have added the account, we can tap on the back button at the top here to go back to the settings or you swipe up. Now if you open up the calendar app and if you tap on calendars down here, you want to make sure that Gmail has been added. And you can see in here, it will show your Google Calendar in here. Make sure it is turned on. Okay, so we can test it out. So here I have downloaded Google Calendar app. So whether you are on a computer, on a Windows computer, PC, or another mobile device, if you were to make, an, if you were to add a new event in your Google Calendar, it should automatically sync on your iPhone built-in calendar app. So let's say if I want to add in a new event. So new event, and I say test today. Okay, so I'm gonna choose at 5 p.m. today, and I will tap on saved. So a new test today event has been added to my Google Calendar. So if I open up my calendar right here, this is the iPhone calendar. So if I tap on that, it should sync through. Now you may need to wait for a few minutes so that the sync can happen. So at the moment it shows only one event. So we're still waiting for the calendar to sync over the, de the, the details. So maybe if I just open up the calendar app right here. So still not showing. And uh, sometimes you may need to wait for a few minutes before the sync will happen. Okay, so I have to wait for some minutes before it starts to sync over to the iPhone calendar. So in here, if I go back, you can see uh, today, the, the test today event has been synced over to the iPhone calendar. And this is the Google calendar right here. So if I go into the iPhone calendar and if I open up this event and if I delete it then it should also delete on the Google Calendar as well so you can see that event now has been removed and if I create a new event by milk at 5 p.m. and tap on saved you can see this will get added and if I go back in here now you can see it doesn't actually um, sync the event right over, right away. You might need to wait for maybe five to 10 minutes. So I don't know, for some reason, the iPhone calendar very slow at fetching the data. However, when you delete it, then the Google calendar will get reflect straight away. So you can see as soon as I delete in here on the Google calendar, that gets reflected straight away. But on the iPhone, it does not sync through. So now it comes over, you can see, now we've got the bike mill. 
So there is a little bit of a delay with the iPhone fetch, um, the, the calendar kind of fetching the data over, but uh, sooner or later it will uh, come over. And that's it. So that's how you can uh, uh, set up Google Calendar to sync with your uh, iPhone calendar. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.